Hello you guys, welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous and who's ready for extensive indie haul videos? I am! Um, let me explain why um, these are such extensive hauls. I did place a, a couple of orders before my vacation and people were so nice as to hold on to stuff for me and send it out after vacation. So uh, things are like trickling in and I'm trying to, you know, show all of those goodies to you guys now like uh, that I'm back and can get back to filming. I'm trying to explain myself here while talking with my hands. Um, so I'm gonna probably have oh, three or four different um, haul videos, three of which are just gonna be polishes and one of them uh, is gonna be Born Pretty Store Polites. I showed you a little sneaky peeky on my Instagram that I did get my hands on um, some newer Born Pretty Store plates. They have since come out with 20 more plates. I wish they would just stop doing that, but anywho. Um, today I have for you my first ever um, Girly Bits haul. Uh, Girly Bits is located in um, Canada. And which is nice because people are so polite there <laughs> and the girls at Girly Bits were so polite and so nice uh, to hold on to my order and ship it out after vacation so I you know it wouldn't get lost in the mail or stuck anywhere so um, I actually bought like a collection from Girly Bits and I'm going to show you that first and I'm going to actually um, speed through all of these polishes and in order to speed through all of these polishes I have made use of the little swatch rings that Girly Bits puts on all of their bottles which is a very nice thing to do and I have copied that idea and put like swatch rings on all of the other polishes in all of the other hauls that I'm gonna do so let's uh, get a cracking this uh, seven piece collection is called Sweet Nothings they're all based I, d I needn't talk so fast. Um, they are all based around uh, like sweet talk you would do to a lover. They are all in French, so my French isn't as good as my English, so please excuse me, excuse moi, um, if I do not pronounce stuff correctly. So the main portion of this collection are five um, pastels that have like corresponding glitters and a hint, a teeny tiny hint of hollow I think in there. Um, first up is this one which is called Jean Besoin de Toi. I don't know what that means. Probably gonna look it up. It's like a pistachio, pistachio colored um, cream and judging from what I did on these uh, swatch rings the formula is amazing so I'm looking forward to swatching these. Next up is this like mustardy yellow thing and you can see all of the glitter in there. This one is called Mon Petit Canard and Canard I know that much um, is a duck so it means my little duck and it's yellow so that's fitting. Next up we have this baby blue also with the corresponding glitter and a little teeny teeny tiny hint of hollow I do think, I'm not sure, might not be hollow, I think it's just blue and silver uh, which is called Bleu de Tieu, the blue of your eyes I do believe don't quote me on that. Next up we have this peachy kind of pastel color which is called Mon Chéri uh, which just means my sweet my honey something love blah I don't know um, also corresponding glitter and silver glitter in there awesome formula from what I can tell from putting it on the swatch ring next up we have this mauve kind of shade uh, and this one seems to be you know in comparison a little more packed with glitter and I think this was the one that I thought I spotted some hollow in but I'm still not sure uh, this one is called Mon Chouchou which also is like something you would call a lover. <clears throat> then we have a straight up glitter bomb, which is called Tarte au Sucre, um, which means sugar cake, I think. Uh, and it also has like a light purple base and a bunch of hollow. It is textured because it is a glitter bomb. So I'm really curious about this one. And then last and certainly not least, my fave out of this collection so far because I just love Corelli's um, and you know the way they create that 3D effect on your nails and this one has like all of these cool matte neon glitters in there. It's called Bonbon d'Amour. Um, um, something of love. What is Bonbon in English? 
candy, I think. Just, you know, a piece of candy. Like hard candy, you know? Uh, and it's a white curly base with those, like I mentioned, matte glitters in there. Okay, next up, also from Girly Bits, but not part of this collection, are two other um, colors I picked up. This one uh, is called Robin Me Blind, and it is very fittingly so, a Robin e Robin's Eggs... Robin's Egg Blue. Yes, polish with a bunch of scattered hollow. It might even be a uh, linear hollow. And it also has these cool flakies. And this was like a color of the month April. And that's when I ordered it. I ordered these back in April. Um, yeah, so I really like this color. Can't wait to try out the formula on my actual nails. Um, and then also, and I have another Crelly. Kind of along the same lines as this one. But not with um, big... Um, glitters in there but rather small glitters that are like all different shades of red and purple and yellow and blue and green and everything and it's called just the tip and I basically just bought it for the name because I do that sometimes and I also bought two other things from girly bits own brand which are these two acetone additives I'm really into acetone additives but it does because it really does help with um, my cuticles not drying out as quickly when I remove all those swatches I do for you guys but um, the downside is that your hands become kind of oily after you know doing a certain amount of swatches so I do have to frequently get up and wash my hands but overall I'm really enjoying those acetones um, additives and the scents make it a lot more bearable. And I bought two different scents, one of them Fresh Brewed Coffee, <laughs> I'm really excited about that, and the other one is Sage and Citrus. Good. Then while I was on that website, you know, you, you look through stuff, you look through store exclusives, and you look on the sales section, and so I uh, had to buy these three polishes that are not from Girly Bits themselves, but are not available like on any other indie website store website I know of in Europe and they are two native war paints this one um, a green one with a lot of scattered hollow green metallic actually and this one is called Alto Stratus and it's a store exclusive that's why I picked this one up and then we have something I also bought mainly for the name which is called a demon unicorns from hell and it's actually um like a charcoal gray base, a jelly base, but is jam-packed with scattered hollow and red glitters. They are not red hollow glitters, just straight up red glitters. And from applying it to this uh, swatch ring, I can only give this like two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Haha. <laughs> really like this one. And then we have a polish polish, which is called Raggedy Man Goodnight, because I am a sucker for Doctor Who. And Raggedy Man is like one of the names the doctor gets from one of his companions. I'm not going to get into that too, too much <laughs> right now. Um, but this is like a, I would say it's a brownish, grayish base and a strong linear holographic, as you can probably tell. So that was my girly bits haul. As always, let me know down in the comments below. Um... If you have any of these polishes, what you think of the brand, uh, which, you know, things to try out and which are good, what you'd like and what you don't like about it. Um, yeah, and which of these colors you uh, really liked. I am definitely going to do like a separate swatch video of the whole collection because it makes sense to swatch uh, collections together uh, as opposed to just doing, you know, random swatches of a brand. So I'm going to have a swatch video of this seven piece collection. So. That's it for today, you guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!